Hey guys, it is Michelle. It is Labor Day weekend. <laughs> you know, I have a love-hate relationship with this weekend, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, number one, it means it's the end of summer. Number two, it's typically a three-day weekend. So, it does truly make me sad that summer is over. Um, I really don't have any good views of trees over here to show you that some of the leaves are actually changing. Um, but it makes me sad because summer is my favorite. Like, <laughs> I know I'm going to sound weird when I say this, but if it could be spring, summer, fall, and then go back to spring, I'd be down with that. Unfortunately, we have like six months of winter here and it's disgusting and horrible. Um, but um, it's a nice three day weekend and, you know, it's a three day weekend. It's pretty much the only positive thing. So, anyway, I thought we'd get started with this weekend with an outfit of the day because. It is getting chillier. It actually hit in the mid 30s last night. So I need to bring some of my plants in before they are all dead. Cause they're all like, it's freezing last night. It's not doing so good. So, <laughs> um, so I'll be doing that. But because it's been cold, my outfit sort of reflects that a little bit. Uh, most of these pieces are new. So you're gonna like that. Um, it's supposed to be warm next week, so there are a few summer pieces that you guys didn't get to see me wear that I kind of want to do videos with, so we'll see how that goes, but it'll be a video for another day, and we don't really want to talk about future videos. We want to see this video, so we're just going to get started. Um, today, I'm wearing my typical hoops. I'm finally wearing these again because um, it's a mess of problems with the second piercing, so I couldn't wear my hoops, and I'm still wearing the starter... Um, piercing, although I'm going to be changing them soon. I think I finally got it to the point where I can change it. I'm wearing this ring, which was a gift for my birthday from my mom a few years ago. It's a Sophia Verge, I think it's how you pronounce her name. Um, just really pretty emerald with diamonds and it's got little di um, emerald pieces on the side. It's really pretty, set in rose gold, and I really love deep jewel tones, especially for fall. Um, deep greens and blues. They just speak to my soul. So I'm wearing that. Um, it's a little big for me, honestly, but um, I just need to get one of those little plastic ring thingies because I don't like sizing rings because I like to put them on different fingers. And um, so the little plastic ring guards are perfect. You can give me like two bucks at Walmart. Next, I'm wearing my Alex Annie bracelets. I have all three of mine on. There is a Cape Cod one. There is my Anchor one. And there's one with a starfishy. Can you see the starfishy? There he is. These things are like a mess when they're all together to see everything, but it is what it is. And I'm wearing this necklace. My mother also got me from a place called Accessory that doesn't exist anymore. It went out of business. Which is a shame because they had some really cute stuff. But, um, and makeup I am wearing. It is the Urban Decay Nocturnal Palette, which is actually really amazing, and it's not badly priced, so I totally recommend that. If you want to see me do a review on that palette, comment down below. On the lips, I'm wearing Anastasia Liquid Lip Gloss in Fudge. We're going to have to talk about this. I got some serious feelings about it. And Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Eclipse, which is from the Manny Moi collection, collaboration. Um, I don't know if I pronounced Manny's name right. I think I am. I think it's more. I could be wrong though. So, um, let's go to the rest of the said outfit. So, we'll start talking about this top, which I got at Venus. It's one of my favorite online shops. As far as let's bring you guys up a little bit, my dears. This is one of my favorite online stores for clothing, um, mainly because sizing is pretty true. Um, if you're a small, you're gonna fit a small. Medium, you're gonna fit a medium. I've had very little issues with their sizing. I bought one top there, but it's because of the fabric it was made out of. And it, the cut of it was very odd. I had a feeling when I bought it, I was doing a gamble, but um, it is what it is. I use that fabric to make something else. And um, so there's that. I know you saw me hold this piece not too long ago. I love it. Like I said, I've been in the need of buying more tops. This was one of them. Actually, when I purchased this top, I didn't like the way it, um, fit me in the arms and stuff, but it's got, like I said, it's slow progress, but you keep working, you keep moving forward, and eventually you start seeing results. So I finally have my arms to a point where I feel comfortable with them, if you know what I'm saying. 
not where I want to be, but I have a little bit more confidence in my upper body. So that's always a good thing. And um, I like the way it fits here better because when I first got it, it was a little tight and I didn't like the way it sat. However, um, it does hug the curves in all the right spots because you got this pulling everything in here and just the style of the shirt just kind of pulls everything in, but it's super cute. I also love shark bite hems. They're one of my favorite things. And this has a little bit of a shark bite. I love the deep blue. And if you take a close look at this particular blue, it almost has like a, I want to say like a tree bark pattern slash snake skin type of a pattern in it. It's really hard to describe it, but it's just a very nice, it's not too in your face as far as the pattern goes, which is nice. I could wear this to the office. Super cute. It comes down in a really nice um, V-neck, and then you got this really beautiful detailing right here that has all kinds of really pretty um, beading, and it's got the big rhinestone, which I absolutely love. Um, the bottom part has this pretty, almost like a floral, very viney pattern and it goes into white and orange. Actually, it goes really well for the fall. Let's pick it up so we can appreciate this piece a little bit more. It's got this kind of antique floral pattern in that, and um, I really like it. It's not too in your face. It doesn't steal the show. It just adds a little bit of interest, which I absolutely love. Now, going to the rest of the outfit. I was super excited for this find, as you guys know, and I'm very excited to be wearing it today. These are those glitter um, jeans that I was telling you about. They're a high-waisted jean, but I absolutely love them. These were from Boss Cobbs. They're like $9 for them, and they fit very well. They sit right here on me. As you can see, super cute. I like the high-waisted ones. It's good for us cur curvy girls because it just sits at the natural waist, which is what we want. And uh, they're just super cute. I love the way they make my legs look and just a little bit of glitter on them. Looks like a midnight sky. Absolutely love it. And it's super cute. Gotta complete the look. It wouldn't be a fall look without a really nice pair of heels. So today, because um, I'm planning on going bowling later, so I wanted a shoe that I could easily slip off and put on those ugly bowling shoes. Um, I opted for this pair of boots. It has a little bit of a modest heel. I've worn these for work as well. I really like this. It's a very versatile boot paid $4 for this one at the shoe department. Um, I know it's not what some of you guys expect. I know you guys like the open toe, the open toe ones and uh, the more strappier ones. But like I said, it's a little chillier today. Weather's supposed to be a little bit warmer, but as of right now, um, we're not gonna fall look because unfortunately summer is over. We need to have the funeral, very sad. But I like the way these go with this particular jean. It is a skinny leg, so that's when I will wear um, skinny legs when I'm wearing a boot like this, when I want to show off my boot detail. It's got the nice little buckle on the side that I like. It's got a modest heel. So this is something that if you're not good wearing um, heels, it's got a modest one. You can work your way up to a more dangerous heel. Um, this one's good. You can I, I can wear this all day, sleep in it, go back to work again in it and have no issues with it whatsoever. It's very comfortable heel. And um, definitely a heel height and thickness that I would recommend for somebody who's not very confident with wearing heels yet. Um, if you're still new at it, your feet may end up hurting if you're not used to having a little bit of height, but you know, um, some girls do, some girls don't. It all depends on your feet, your bone structure, genetics. A lot of things actually will affect um, your feet and also how well you take care of them. I was actually thinking about, this may sound weird, I don't know. What do you guys think? I do have a routine um, for, I, I think every woman does, for taking care of their feet, um, mainly because I do wear a lot of heels, I do wear pantyhose, and like I stuff my feet in shoes that I probably shouldn't be doing, like putting my feet in. Um, but you have to kind of like take care of that, take care of your bones and stuff like that. I actually read somewhere I was actually a little bit annoyed. They said there was five types of shoes you stop wearing by the time you're 25, and flip-flops was on the list. Now, I don't wear them for, like, fashion purposes. I was like, how can you tell somebody that you're too old to wear flip-flops? I think I saw that on BuzzFeed, and I was, like, kind of annoyed. That was on there. What was else was on there? 
Sky High Heels was on there. Like, dude, okay, I can hear you. Some people don't know how to put an outfit together, but hey, you rock those heels after 25, girl. Amen. I am. Anyway, guys, it wouldn't be a Michelle outfit of the day without doing the walk, so we're going to get started, have some fun. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me talk. And every time I bend over, stuff moves. Okay. Oh, that sounded bad. Super fun outfit. Definitely very folly. I even hate saying it. I really do. I love the summer. I love swimming. I love being on the beach. love this top. Strongly recommend girls. If you haven't checked out the Venus website, you must. They have some beautiful stuff. Not badly priced. And they keep up with fashion pretty good too. They always have some really nice trending pieces. Um, let's do one more walk just for, for fun, just because I feel like it. <laughs> let's do it. Great outfit for so many occasions. Um, great for shopping, great for dinner with your parents. It, it's just an awesome outfit. Everything's covered, still looking sexy. Go out for drinks, go out to the bar. Very versatile. I mean, just changing out some accessories, changing out your jewelry, you can change up the look. But, um, yes, girls, I definitely recommend checking out Venus. It's very fashion forward. It's I'm not gonna lie, it's not necessarily aimed towards teenagers, but they do have some pieces that, I'm not saying that you teenagers can't go shopping on there. They do have some really, really fun, wild, crazy prints that I absolutely love. They have pieces that are very timeless. So it doesn't matter if you're 14 or if you're 44, there's stuff in there that you both can wear and it'll look good on both age groups. They've got some really nice um, shoes on there that are, oh. The jewelry is gorgeous, and my weakness is jewelry on there too. I try really hard. It's like, no, girl, you gotta behave. You gotta behave. But truly, check it out. Um, I love their tops. I love their dresses. Strongly recommend. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get going um, because my, you know those weirdo neighbors I always talk to you about? They're over there and they're watching me and it's uh, getting... I don't care, but it's not like they're watching. Like, they know what I do with you guys. They know, they know about YouTube. But it's more the mocking, you know what I'm saying? And... I've had to say things to them in the past, and I don't want to have to do that now with you guys because that's, that's not fun. We don't want to do that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going before they ruin my video, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.